Hisense Window Air Conditioner Installation. Please read and follow the instructions in the owner's manual before you attempt to install, operate, maintain, or troubleshoot your window air conditioner. Caution, the unit is heavy. Have someone assist you with your window air conditioner to help prevent product damage or personal injury. Before you purchase or install the window air conditioner, make sure the install location is equipped with a grounded wall power outlet that has a 230 volt setup, same as the window air conditioner plug. The most common electrical outlet in any US home is 110 volt, 15 amp setup. To avoid damage or personal injury, do not attempt to use an outlet adapter with the air conditioner plug. Only use the window air conditioner plug's specified power outlet needs. Measure the install location before placing your window air conditioner to ensure a proper fit. Take a moment to see what tools are needed for installation. Unbox your new window air conditioner and remove all packaging materials. Remove the window air conditioner from the foam base and place it on a flat and level surface near the install location. Remove the additional packaging materials taped to the unit. Window Air Conditioner Components Take some time to learn the components that came with your window air conditioner. Side curtains, foam seals, top rail, left and right support brackets, owner's manual, remote, quick start guide, warranty card, and screws. Metal Cabinet Removal Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the bottom screw on each side of the front panel. Remove the front panel. Disconnect and remove the wire terminal block. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two bottom screws on each side of the metal cabinet. Have someone assist you pulling apart the air conditioner from the metal cabinet. If the air conditioner is difficult to remove from its metal cabinet housing, place both hands firmly on the back of the home appliance to tilt and gently shake the air conditioner loose. Top Rail Installation Place the top rail on top of the air conditioner, lining up the four holes in the top rail with the four holes on top of the unit. Using the four, three-eighths inch screws provided in a Phillips screwdriver, Attach the top rail to the air conditioner by inserting the screws underneath the metal cabinet. Side Curtain Installation You will need to attach both the left and right side curtains to the air conditioner before placing the unit in the window. Fully extend the side curtains and slide them downward into the insert tabs on both sides of the air conditioner. Then slide the curtain housing into the top and bottom channels as far as they will go on both sides. The side curtains should move easily. Window Air Conditioner Installation Open the window and measure underneath the window rail. Unroll the foam seals. Cut the foam seal to match the length of the window rail. Peel off the plastic on the adhesive foam seal and attach it directly to the bottom of the window rail. To help support the weight in the back of the window air conditioner, place a wooden support beam toward the back of the window sill. Measure the install location prior to installing the wooden support beam to ensure a proper fit. Wooden support beams can be found at your local home improvement store. With someone to help, place the metal cabinet in the center of the window opening, against the bottom window sill. Without letting go of the unit, lower the window sash behind the top rail to hold the air conditioner's cabinet in place. Fully extend the side curtain on each side. Use two, one-quarter inch screws provided to attach the safety frame locks to either a wooden windowsill or a vinyl-clad window depending on your setup. For this example, if you have a wooden windowsill setup, a power drill and 5 64ths drill bit are needed. Drill into the highlighted holes as shown. Take the two safety frame locks and insert them into the slots. Using a power drill, 
Insert the longer 3 quarters inch screws into the lower part of the safety frame locks. Attach the left and right window sill angle brackets to the bottom of the metal cabinet on the outside to help secure and anchor the window air conditioner. You will need to use the 3 quarters inch bolts and lock nuts provided along the side and the 1 half inch bolts and lock nuts on the top edge of the brackets. Loosely attach the bracket's safety frame lock to the side of the bracket as shown. Place and hold the window sill angle bracket underneath the bottom of the metal cabinet and hold it tight against it and the window sill. Decide and mark the best position of the bracket. Attach two, one half inch bolts into the two preferred mark areas on the top, and tighten using a Phillips screwdriver while holding the lock nut in place, using a wrench. Then tighten the side of the bracket using a wrench. Repeat the same process for the other side. For proper water drainage, adjust the height of the window sill brackets until it securely rests on the edge of the window sill at a 3 degree downward slope. To mount the side curtains to the window sash, fully extend the side curtains and mark the areas you need to drill to mount the 3 quarters inch screws. Using a 5 64 drill bit, carefully drill into the marked areas. Insert 3 and 3 quarters inch screws into the newly drilled holes to mount the side curtains. Measure the length of the window. Cut the foam insulation to the length of the window and add 1 quarter inch or so for a proper fit. Insert the foam insulation between the window frame to help reduce air gaps. For additional support, attach a window sash lock to the top of the wood window frame using two, three quarters inch screws. Window sash lock for wooden window frames only. With someone to help, carefully reinsert the air conditioner into the metal cabinet housing. Caution: Do not push on the finned coils. Damaged coils may cause the unit from properly working. Use a short 3 quarters inch screw to attach the front safety frame lock to the front bottom part of the air conditioner. Reconnect the wire terminal block. Reattach the front control panel cover until it snaps into place. Mount the front control panel using the same screws previously removed on each side. Measure the length of the side curtain on each side. Cut the EVA foam boards to the length of the side curtains. Peel off the plastic on the adhesive EVA boards and attach them directly to the side curtains. Make sure to press firmly. Plug your air conditioner into a 230 volt grounded wall power outlet as mentioned in the beginning of this video before use. Your new Hisense window air conditioner is now ready for use.